Hello, and welcome to this episode of Batavia Spotlight, where we get to know more about community organizations and businesses here in Batavia and in our local communities. I'm Ellen Huxtable, your host. So let's get started. Today we have Holly Deachman, president of the Rotary Club of Batavia. Thank you for being with us, Holly. So happy to be here, Ellen. Love being in the BATV studios. Oh, absolutely. Home away from home sometimes, right? Yes. <laughs> So can you tell us about Rotary? What is the mission of Rotary? What does Rotary do? So Rotary, the motto of Rotary is service above self. Um, and that's the general idea of everything that we do. Uh, we are a local organization and we try to help as many as we can from local projects all the way out to international service projects as well. We're a small but mighty group here in Batavia with 26 members but uh, an international organization of over 1.2 million Rotarians. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the types of projects you do? Absolutely. We, um, from serving a meal at Lazarus House to uh, water projects, uh, international water projects, and the global mission of the, currently of, Ro excuse me, of Rotary International is to eradicate polio. And since 1975-ish, uh, they have um, been trying to eradicate polio. So um, through vaccinations throughout the world, uh, with now down to only 36 reported cases, both in Afghanistan oh and Pakistan. And that's really as, as limited as the number is now. Now, in the local organization, what have been some of the accomplishments that, that your Rotary Group has done? So we have done everything from working on the, a lot of hands-on projects, like at the Riverwalk, where we have um, donated some money and also helped out by you know, extending the Riverwalk and uh, the building of the initial project, the Riverwalk project. Um, and we go every Monday and unload the truck at the food pantry. So it's a lot of hands-on and then also some donations that we give to support their mission as well. And uh, how do you do your fundraising? How do you raise the funds that you donate? So annually we do a Corvette raffle ah. where we sell a uh, thousand tickets at a hundred dollars a piece and you can choose to either like this year uh, claim a 2016 Corvette convertible wow. or forty thousand dollars in cash. So we take that the funds that are raised from that hundred thousand dollars minus whatever we give for the car or the cash um, and that is all reinvested annually back into the community at a local or international level. So you're both service-oriented as well as fundraising-oriented. It's a combination of the, of the two things. Absolutely. So um, it just helps us to take those funds, help others out, and then also, if we can, um, help them out with our hands as well. So you meet weekly then? Is that your, your pattern? We do. Uh, we are a breakfast meeting. and uh, We meet every Tuesday morning at 7.15 a.m. at Enticing Cuisine. And we have a meal together and then typically a presentation where somebody comes in either to speak about a hobby or speak about their organization and why they would like to be a recipient of some of our donations. Okay. As a member, what are some of the expectations that are made of, the, of your members? Uh, besides getting up super early every <laughs> Tuesday morning. It's um, a big one. It is. It's a big one, especially for me. And I have two little boys at home. So rousting them and also getting myself together um, for a 7.15 a.m. meeting every Tuesday morning is quite a challenge. Other than that, we um, have a four-way test. So we ask all Rotarians to think of these four things um, and everything they think, say, or do, and that's um, that what they're doing or saying is the truth. Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? And will it be beneficial to all concerned? So those kind of the, are each, as Rotarians, we're supposed to live our lives, not only uh, personally, but professionally, under those four, um, I guess, that mantra. And why should somebody join the Rotary? I mean, this is an investment of time mm -hmm. and a commitment. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that there's some expectations for some financial mm -hmm. investment in this. What are some of the things that are the benefits of, of being in, in the Rotary? Well, I'll tell you a little bit of the story of, <clears throat> excuse me, why I joined Rotary. Um, and yes, there is a financial commitment. Um, it's $200 a quarter to be a member. Breakfasts are included. A portion of that goes towards, again, appropriations that are distributed out into the community. The rest of it goes towards uh, us getting together in our meetings. Um, but 
what we do is, um, my story is that I looked at it like in my heart I had the desire to give back. I wanted to do things, I wanted to help out, and there's so many great organizations in our community and the Tri-Cities, the state, the nation, the world, that we could all put our time or our money to. Um, and it became overwhelming, but also I had lots of excuses why I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. right? So when I came to my first meeting, I looked at it like I was number one in a, in a breakfast situation, sharing a meal with some of our greatest businessmen, other community activists, and others that had big hearts in our community. And I looked around the room and I said, you know, I want to be like that guy. And I really want to be like that girl. And it, it just was more natural for me. I was like, okay, well, not only am I going to be giving and providing service to those that are in need, um, I'm also going to be creating relationships with people that we are doing things together. And so you can accomplish more as a group than you can, I feel, as an individual, especially when it comes to eradicating polio um, or serving a meal at Lazarus House. Um, combined effort always seems to be good. And it's just, we have a really good time. We enjoy each other's company. So if somebody's interested in learning more about Rotary, how can they learn more? So we have two websites. So if you are interested in purchasing a ticket to our Corvette raffle, which the drawing is November of every year, tickets are always available, but with a limited limit of a thousand, and we have sold out uh, the last two years. Oh my goodness! So um, it's or if you want to find out more about our club specifically, there's two different websites. So BataviaRotaryClub.org is mm -hmm. for our own website and then bataviarotarycharities.com is the website where you can go to learn more about purchasing a ticket for our Corvette raffle. Thank you so much for telling us more about Rotary. I hope a lot of people decide they're gonna check it out and see if it's for them and, and maybe find ways that they can also give back to the community through Rotary. So thank you so much for sharing. And thank you so much for inviting me to be here, Ellen. And now we'll take a brief time out to hear from some of our sponsors. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> 